Tommy Pham reminded me of this story late in this past season. He said back in 2011, I came down to Springfield, I believe to probably cover a rehab assignment for one of the major leaguers, and Tommy was there with the double the A team. And we got to talking about three, four, five hitters. Not, not hitters that bat three, four, or five, but hitters that bat 300, 400 on base percentage, and 500 slugging in the same season. And he men or I mentioned to him that there was only one center fielder that was doing that. Um, he kept that in the back of his mind and brought it up to me this season because he was about to do that. He spotted the league an entire month starting the year in the minors before he then made history as the first player in 126 seasons of Cardinals baseball to bat better than 300, have an on-base percentage better than 400, and a slugging percentage better than 500 to go with more than 20 home runs and 20 stolen base. The only player in 126 seasons to do that. The specifics, he hit 306, had a 411 on base percentage, 520 slugging, 23 homers and 25 stolen bases. He also had a 931 OPS. In baseball, with everyday outfielders, that was bested only by Charlie Blackman, who had a 1000 OPS and plays at Coors Field, and Giancarlo Stanton, who had a 1009 OPS, hit 59 home runs and won a National League MVP. The only players in baseball to do the 300, 400, 500, 20 homers, 20 steals bases were Mike Trout, pretty reputable center fielder, and Jose Altuve, the American League MVP. That's the company that Tommy Pham kept this past year. He's the first player in Cardinal in about 10 years to go 20-20, and today he told us that he wants to be the first Cardinal in history right to go 30-30. Do I have that right, Tommy? Yeah, okay, this coming year. This year I got the chance to speak to a eye specialist too about all that Tommy has gone through because his story really is one of perseverance. He was a 16th round pick in 2006 and his ascension to the majors was slowed by injuries and by what he has had to remain vigilant with an eye condition that he told me he's blind in his left eye. One of the eye specialists told me that seeing through Tommy's eyes is somewhat like seeing through a car window if someone smeared Vaseline on it and then try to hit 98. He, the side specialist told me that Tommy Pham is one in a million, and only Tommy Pham could pull off what he's done. He uh, thanked us for giving us a reason to wear a tux tonight, so we saved the best dressed for last. This year's J.G. Taylor Spink Man of the Year Award goes to Tommy Pham, Cardinal center fielder. Johnny Peralta actually told me I'm the best dress on the team, you know, so I just want to, I had to throw that out there, uh, but there's a lot of people I could thank. Um, one, uh, Dr. Bennett, who's here with his lovely wife, um, you know, he's always there for me, um, you know, especially helping me out with my lenses, um, day in, day out throughout the season. If I need something, if I feel something's off, he, he's always there. Um, my, my managers and my instructors coming up, I feel like I learned at least one thing from each and every one of them, and I, I truly mean that. Um, but there's two people I really want to thank, because um, when I look back at my journey, uh, you know, it, it was eventful for me. You know, I, I've dealt with injuries, and, you know, I'm not talking like, you know, something where I'm out where for a couple of weeks or a month, you know, I'm season, season done injuries, you know, torn labrums, torn TFCC in my wrists. And um, it, it really, when I, when I really thought I was on my way, you know, my injuries really slowed me down. But uh, the first person I want to thank is, uh, it's not for something he, he showed me or taught me in the game, but it, it's for something he said that, that, changed, that changed the direction I was going in this game. And it, it, it's, it's first person's Willie McGee. Uh, I, I, I remember it was uh, 2011 
And uh, Willie, Willie was an instructor at the time. He, he used to come out and he used to watch us play, you know, and he evaluate us and, um, you know, send a message on the I, Mo, at, Mo, I presume. He'll send the message on the Mo. And uh, I, I was actually off to my best start of my, my career at the time. Uh, I, was in, I was in double A. I, I believe I had five home runs the month of April. I, I was hitting close to 300, a uh, lot of extra base hits. I was doing it all, stealing bases, playing great defense. And, uh, but, but I was still in my own way. You know, I, I, I was very, I used to get very frustrated as a player when I, when I failed. You know, slamming my helmet, throwing my bat, little in immature stuff. And um, I remember one day I, I made the last out, you know, I slammed everything. And, you know, Willie, I, I sat down on the dugout on the bench and Willie came up to me. And, you know, he, he says, son, you're a big leaguer. You can play in the big leagues right now. And I'm, I'm like, I'm, you know, at the time, when you're in the minor leagues, you're like, man, I'm, I'm tired of hearing that, you know. But he said, no, you're a big leaguer. But he said, you know, think, of, think about everything Jackie Robinson went through in this game, you know. And he said, Think about if he was to see you right now doing all, everything you do. And I sat back and I thought about that and I was like, he's right. I need to act more professional. It forever changed me. You know, I feel like the only time I may throw something is when, you know, Joe makes a bad call on me. <laughs> you know. But, you know. <laughs> But, you know, that, that, that was a life-changing life event for me. You know, I'm sure we all have had those type of events. But um, yeah, I, I will never forget that. And um, the second person is, is John Vooch. You know, um, Mo, Mo confirmed a story to me this season. We were having dinner. And... Um, First, let me, let me tell you about the dinner. You know, I'm, I walk in, we're having dinner, a uh, team dinner, and it's Mo Gersh, Mr. DeWitt, um, Mike, and Dex all at one table. So I'm looking around trying to choose which table I'm going to sit at, and Mo goes, Tommy, right here. And I'm like, damn, you know, what did I do? <laughs> you know? So, so. I go sit down and, you know, we talk baseball. I love to talk baseball, too. So, you know, he, Mo tells me the, the time he wanted to release me. And I'm like, oh, man, this ain't good. And he goes, he goes yeah, you know, John fought for you, though. John, you know, he, he said, we're not releasing you. And, um, you know, John, I, I, I remember my, in 2012, after my first surgery, um, John called me the the day I found out, I tore my leg room. Um, you know, I'm sitting in my room like, you know, another, another season gone. And uh, John calls me and he tells me, you know, we, we want to resign you. And I'm like, wow, you know, back to back years hurt. Um, you know, I, I, I always believed in myself, you know, as far as being a, a big league player. Um, just from, you know, comparing myself to my competition and teammates. But, uh, you know, John used to tell me, um, you know, you are special. He said, you know, with, with your talent and your work ethic, you know, you just need to stay healthy. Um, you know, he truly believed in me. Every, every year I was hurt, every year I struggled because he saw my talent, he, he saw my work ethic, and he knew it was just a matter of time before I figured it out and I stayed healthy. And um, I, I truly appreciate that uh, from the bottom of my heart, you believing in me day in and day out. Um, thank you. <laughs>